Look who's here! Look who's here! I'm back! I'm back, I'm back, I'm back! Yep! And you know what time it is? That's right, folks. They made me come out of retirement today. Man, I was just over there enjoying myself, just relaxing and uh, maxing, and uh, all of a sudden, I. Uh, I get a phone call and say, you watching this? I'm like, what? Man, then I turn the TV on and I see all hell and broke loose over there in D.C. Man, I'm telling you, the doggone D.C. dunce has incited, uh, I don't know what you would call it, man, like a mass takeover. Uh, you know, people have stormed the Capitol building and uh busted out windows and went inside the capitol building one person has been shot a couple of guards have been taken to the hospital and it's like hey man trump incited this madness he started it they had a trump rally today at the same time they, they were starting to count the votes to confirm biden in uh in the in congress and uh so, at, you know, in the middle of the rally, Trump tells them to go, go down to the Capitol building. Yeah, walk, march down Pennsylvania Avenue, go over to the Capitol building. Do, uh, do what you got to do, stop the steal. Now, the only steal I see, personally, the only steal I see is all these Trump supporters, trailer trash, going over to the D.C., going, going over to the Capitol building, destroying the Capitol building. Uh, that's the only uh, steal that I see. That's what you call a steal. You over there trying to take the presidency, the presidency that you lost, that you lost. So therefore, they, uh, as far as I'm concerned, they should be trying to impeach Trump today. Don't waste any time. Start drawing up the impeachment papers because you got to get him out of office now. You don't need to wait. It's like two more weeks left. You really don't need to wait. You need to get his butt out of there because he's definitely lost his mind. He's lost his cotton-picking mind. Now, this guy right here, Moscow Mitch, you know, you just lost your job. But you, look at that face. This is, a, this is an enabler. This is a person that enabled enable trump to do the stuff that he's been doing for the last four years moscow mitch and all the all the negative republicans in the republican party that have been you know covering their eyes up every time trump do something stupid every time he do something bad they're coming on tv making excuses for him for the last four or five years because before he got a whole year that before the election he was out there telling these lies and stuff and they was protecting him then so now you created this monster that has come out and just attacked what you call democracy because it's never been democracy for anybody of color. Uh, it's been, you know, so, you know, basically, hey, for some people it's like, hey, if you tear it down, you destroy it, so what? But, you know, it's like 300, 350 years of uh since 1776 this country has existed and has had uh you know rules and regulations that, that needed to be followed it took four years four years for donald trump to come in and basically dismantle washington dc in four years that's all that, what from 1776 till today hey it took him four years to destroy the united states of america it's gonna take either we start all over again and for, and remove all these loopholes that trump been poking all these holes and 
in the Constitution because he hasn't followed the Constitution since he took office. So therefore, it's going to have to either be remade better or it's going to have to be torn down. I don't know, you know, but that's, uh, you know, he, he destroyed, it's pretty much destroyed, so I guess it's going to have to be built back up. It's going to have to be built back up, only now it's going to have to be built back up better and it's going to have to be inclusive, include everybody, black, Asian, Hispanic, African, white, people from, I don't care, from all over the world that live here in this country, uh, from Europe, all over. The people that live here in this country, it's gonna, everybody's going to have to get a piece. You can no longer say, well, we only want uh, white people to be in charge and that's it. And they get all the money, they get all the power, they get all the everything, and everybody else have to be down here while you up here. Everybody else have to be down here. No, that stuff is going to have to be even. It's going to have to be even. Even. You're going to have to start treating people with respect and love and kindness and care and treat those, those people that don't look like you the way you want to be treated. Because Native Americans, uh, the black Native Americans, Aboriginal Americans, the African that they brought to the United States as, uh, as slaves, all these people have been put in bondage and have been in bondage since 1776 and before. So they're going to have to have an equal, equal share at the table. I saw it was one thing that Joe, uh, Joe Biden did do, and uh, he put uh, uh, a Native American woman in charge of one of one of the one of his appointments, or one of his appointments in 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 D.C. So I mean that's a start. But where I mean right today, while the, while while the National Guard, all the D.C. Police Department, National Guard from from three different locations from Virginia, Maryland, and D.C. They're gonna have to get control of of this of uh of Congress. They're gonna have to get control of over this over this uh, Capitol building first. They're gonna have to put a perimeter around the Capitol building. They're gonna have to continue and finish the vote. Uh, you know, for confirming these electoral votes. Uh, and hey, they might have to just go ahead and uh, make Biden president tomorrow. Get Trump out of there. Say, well, we could. This is something that they might have to do they just might have to say forget wait until the 20th we're going to make biden president today because we need to make him president today so he can take over this madness today because trump is clearly out of control he's clearly lost his mind he's inciting riots now he got people he just told these people ordered these people to converge on the capitol building at his little garbage rally that he was having today so on inauguration day, this could happen all over again. They could storm the inauguration. So <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. It's it's uh it's crazy. It's chaotic. It's foolishness going on to a hundred degree. And uh, Trump is the one that, that incited it. The Republican parties are implicit in this because they are the ones that have emboldened him all this, all these years and just turn their back and turn the blind eye, turn the blind eye to every foolish thing that he wanted to do. They had a right to impeach him at the beginning of the year. The House impeached him. The Senate wouldn't. And this is the reason, this is the results of you not doing your job when you had the, the, uh, the, you had the, the way and the means to get him out then, back in January when they did the impeachment. He should have been gone. But instead, he got worse and worse and worse and worse and he's been lying to these people telling them lies about he won the election when he know he didn't win he lost and uh so these uh you know people you know from the from the trailer park are just uh storming are storming the capitol building right now and uh uh nancy pelosi mike pence and all the rest of those people had to take cover they had to take cover